Between picking up this slab collection, a bunch of other collections that you might have seen me pick up last week, paying off the florist, paying off the videographer, paying off the second to last, not even the last, wedding venue installment, I have legitimately actual zero dollars to my name. So I kind of wanted to get this stuff and see if I could get some grade bumps and then resell it, but we are just going to sell it. Everything you're about to see in today's video is for sale. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to join up. It's my Patreon and it helps me do crazy things like making this silly situation my full-time job. Let's get into it. A little nervous about this box, I'm not gonna lie. Look at this. Ooh. There should be 12 slabs if I'm counting correctly and I think like six walls in here. So uh, I'm hoping everything survived. Uh, I think it came from Canada. Some customs documents on this. Okay, even with all that damage to the box, miraculously, nothing was damaged. I think we're gonna start with the walls because there's not that many of them. Uh, first one is the uh, Death of Electra, Daredevil issue 181. Uh, that is actually a very nice, gorgeous copy. So that's a good one. These were all ones that I wanted to get graded, but because I need money right now, I think I'm going to have to skip that and just move them raw, which sucks because, for example, Justice League of America 64, first Red Tornado, that is an extremely gradable copy. I think it's honestly in the eights. Um, I would love to have that, but I just have to move it. I do. I do. Uh, Batman 169, I think this is maybe like the second... Penguin in the Silver Age, or first cover Penguin in the Silver I don't remember, uh, but that's a nice one. Here's the new Wonder Woman look, and that is a gradable copy of, oh man, I would love to send these out, holy smokes, that's a nice one, man. Superman's Girlfriend, Lois Lane, I've always wanted this book, this is the one where they turn Lois black. Um, what's that, 106? Yeah, that's a nice, it's got a couple spine ticks, but that's, that's not bad. I, I love that book. Um, Superman 199. This, I think this might be the first. If, if it's not the first, it's, I think, the second. Superman Flash Race. That's one of the nice ones to have. And then I got this thrown in. This is considerably rougher than it looked in the picture. So some of these are a nice surprise. This thing... Had I seen how rough this was, I might not have picked it up. That's like a 2.5, like a 3.0 Spectre number one. So I'm pretty happy with these, with the small exception to the Spectre number one. Not loving the condition of that, but that's okay. Um, let's move on to the slabs. We got some beefy ones here. First up is from 1957. It's Man in Black, Harvey Publications, issue number one, uh, three five. Bob Powell cover art. Um, that book is in need of a clean. I can tell you that. What would the grade be after a clean and press? I don't know. Something tells me I got a quick look at these when I was doing the unboxing. Um, some of these are screaming for a clean and press. This is where I told you I wanted to get these sent out see if I could get grade bumps, and I'm thinking that a lot of these could. Uh, this one in particular. This next one, oh man, Superman number 38 from 1946. Atomic Bomb Story, Lex Luthor Appearance. Superman reading Batman 32 on the cover. This book right here in its 5.5 off-white to white pages, first of all, a Superman book from the 40s in a 5.5, this is one of the ones I wanted to keep for the personal collection, but I, I do, I just, I just have to move it. Uh, it sucks, but I do. This book literally has so many issues that are ridiculously easy to get out. Uh, it does have a little bit of staple rust. I, you know, I can't do anything about that, but I know some people can. Um, 
the, there's dirt on here. There's for things that are pressable. Dude, uh, like this, this clearly was never pressed and it's itching for a clean and press. So I don't know, maybe I'll sell the rest and I'll keep that one. But they honestly, every single book here I'm about to show you needs the exact same treatment. They need a clean and press. Never own this one. Superman's Girlfriend Lois Lane, number one in a CGC one. And I can see why uh, it looks like the cover is almost entirely split. It's hanging on for dear life there. Um, still, it's off white to white pages. Yeah, I thought I was, thought that looked pretty clean. Um, it's funny when you get uh, the page quality being so nice, but it's like torn. Uh, that's really cool. I, I knew I had to get that when I saw it. Uh, then we've got Superman issue 76. This one's from 1952. Another one in need of a clean and a press. Clearly this one had never gotten it. This one is creamed off white pages though. This is the first time that Batman and Superman learn each other's secret identities. A little bit of a nice key right there. Really happy about that pickup. It's another one I wish I could keep for the PC. Oh well. Uh, then we've got Journey into Mystery 123. Also screaming for clean and press. Oh my god. I my guy could probably get that to like an 8.5. Jeez. You kidding me? Oh, man. 123. I don't remember the key significance of that book, to be completely honest with you. Um, but, yeah, I, there's a little bit of dirt on the back. You know, there's a, a little bit of a spine roll that is more visible from the back, which, you know, pressing can take care of. Oh, man. All these books, like I said, they've never been never been touched. Uh, Spider-Woman, number one in a 9.6. Um, not bad, not bad. And that one looks, looks about right. I don't think a, a press could fix that one and bump it to a 9.8. Uh, then we have the first Silver Age appearance of the Spectre and first appearance of Asmodus. It is a 4.0. And I do believe that is another one that needs the love. A lot of people, when you see this older slab, very few people knew about or went to the trouble of getting things cleaned and pressed. And uh, it kind of shows. All right, here's my favorite book of the entire lot. This is going to be really freaking hard for me to get rid of, I have to say. Action Comics number 80 from 1945. It's the second appearance of Mixia Spitlick, but it is also the first cover appearance of Mixia Spitlick. And it's a 4-0, and it is dying for a clean and a press. So I would love to see this book brightened up a little bit, maybe a little bit of that light therapy. Oh yeah, look, look, in the, you really see it in the yellows. It's just, it's just dirty. I don't know how, like, I don't know if you could bump it to like, uh, in the sixes, but I think you could get that into the fives without much problem. Um, that is really hard to move, man. Right. Journey into Mystery 86. I thought it was the first appearance of Odin. They say it's the second appearance of Odin. It is the first appearance of Zarko, the Tomorrow Man. It is a 2.5. I need to look at the grader's notes because that looks a lot nicer than a 2.5. What's the problem here? Okay, so there's a tear. There's a tear up there. I... All right, I gotta check out the notes because that is the nicest looking 2.5 I've ever seen. This looks like a like a 4.5. What's the deal? Dude, <laughs> I want to resubmit all of these. Oh man, come on. Uh, but I got to move them. 
I've been naughty with my spending habits lately. I've been buying and buying and buying, and I haven't been selling, selling, selling. So I've just, you know, if I had uh, a little bit more money saved up, I would keep these and sell other stuff. But we'll see. First appearance of Zodar, robot cover, and second appearance of the Justice League of America. Raven the Bold, not 28, but 29 in a 3.5 off-white pages and I can see a few things that can be fixed on the back. Let me check out the front. Oh sure, yep, I see dirt. Mm -hmm. I don't think that one can get into the fives, but I think that could go to a 4.5 or at least to a 4. Respectable. Uh, second to last book is Showcase 23, not 22. And it is actually the first book I've ever owned that is restored. Uh, it's apparent slight restoration. They say uh, restoration includes a small amount of color touch on the cover. And there is tape on the interior cover. Still, 5-0, restored. What's that? Second appearance of Hal Jordan. Um, cool. Uh, until I get um, another one, that one is not for sale. I, I don't think I can sell that. That's got to stay in the personal collection for, the, for my uh, Green Lantern needs. Um, that's pretty sweet, though. Last book I'm going to show you is from 1943. Giant size fat thing. Jeez, this must be like 100 pages. World's Finest 11. Uh, and it is, yeah, number 11. Gigantic fall issue. Massive, spectacular. And uh, everybody's just having a nice time gardening. Very nice. 5.5 is pretty darn respectable for that early of a frickin' book. I'm gonna have to show my parents that one. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, all in all, I did really well. I, as I said a couple times in the video, I would love to keep, honestly, all of this stuff, but I, I just, I've been uh, a little naughty, so, with my spending, so everything's gotta go. Message me on my Instagram uh, if you're at all interested in any of these items. And until the next video, I will see you later and keep on hunting. Let the hobby fund itself, baby.